Good morning, Aptera fans. Steve here. I'd uh, like you to come join us on our first Aptera road trip with myself and some of the crew that's off camera. We're starting off in Flagstaff, Arizona here today, this, morning, this snowy morning. We're already charging at 300 watts just from the sun, and we're about to start driving on the old Route 66. Go see some sights along the way and uh, take you with us. So come join us. We'll see you later. the first uh, video footage we have of Aptera driving on the highway. This is a, a PI build, so this is, uh, you know, this is basically what we're going to be building, so it's pretty cool. Alright guys, just a heads up, uh, the first stop on our route is going to be Arizona. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have time to go into the park, but let's at least go check it out. I really like this big panoramic windshield that we have uh, because you can see like really far and wide. Uh, you can see the mountains, you can see the valleys, and it's just like a big picture window that you have in front of you. So it's really cool to be behind it. I hardly feel the bumps. Uh, the suspension is handling it. You know, I would say the suspension is working overtime uh, because of some of these bumps, but um, I really don't feel it. They've done a great job, the guys at the DC. And our guys here, they've been tuning the crap out of this thing. So yeah, we took out Aptera out on I-40 uh, to start, and we stayed on it for quite a while, I think till Seligman. Then we got on Route 66 from there, and we've been on the Route 66 since then. And it's a fantastic road because it's not very traveled, and the scenes are just out of this world. I mean, it's, it's so nice. So it's kind of, um, you know, it's the path not really taken, and uh, that's one of the reasons we want to do it this way. When Route 66 was first proposed in the 1920s, the idea of a single continuous highway linking Chicago to Los Angeles seemed almost impossible. But visionaries like Cyrus Avery pushed forward, believing in something bigger than the road itself, believing in what it could unlock from the world. And they did it. Route 66 became one of the most iconic highways in America, proving that what once seemed improbable could become inevitable. I think about that a lot with Aptera. We're building something people say can't be done. But history shows us the boldest ideas, the ones that challenge the status quo, are the ones that truly change the world. Yeah, there's a general store down here on the right on uh, Route 66 that I want us to stop at. I think they've got beef jerky and a lot of old cars to take pictures of. Hey guys, here we are at uh, the famous uh, rest stop here at Hackberry. Route 66, it's a lot warmer uh, than it was up in Flagstaff, which is why I'm not wearing my hoodie anymore. Uh, but we're on our way to Kingman and Lake Havasu and further. Uh, but the vehicle's been doing great. Uh, we've seen up to 520 watts charging uh, from the solar panels. And if you look, it's, it's kind of overcast today. This wasn't our chosen day to come because of overcast, but um, we're just having a fun time seeing all the sights and uh, getting lots of good footage. with the charge and the vehicle. Um, I don't want to make any more stops. Let's just keep going till we get all the way to Lake Havasu. I've never been to Route 66 before. I, I've always seen it in movies and, uh, you know, books, read about it, but I, to be here the first time in a, in a vehicle that we built, for all, all of us to be here together, it's, uh, pretty amazing. We're in uh, sunny Lake Havasu, Arizona. We started this morning from a very cold Flagstaff and now we're on our way to Blythe, California. So it's been a great trip so far. We just had a very late lunch and uh, looking forward to getting back to our families tonight.
I've been dreaming of this moment for over 20 years, driving in the most efficient vehicle on the road, watching the sights go by. I, I got emotional just taking it all in. This company, this idea, it's real, it, it's visceral. And I'm just so proud of each and every person who helped make this dream a reality. We have the chance to make a real change on how the world moves. The road hasn't been easy. It's been painful, difficult, and it's brought me to my breaking point sometimes. But being in this moment right now, I can say it's all been worth it. Uh, we're wrapping up our trip today from Flagstaff back home to California. We stopped somewhere here in the Imperial Valley uh, just to take a video outside but it was still light so you could see everything. We went over 300 miles today from Flagstaff to uh, somewhere out past the Imperial Valley. Uh, it was great seeing people's reactions. Almost everybody that drove by us on the highway uh, we had their cameras out. They were, uh, they were taking pictures of us. We were mixing it up with the 18 wheelers and other cars on the freeway the entire time, driving at pretty high speeds at some time. So it was great to see the vehicle perform in those conditions and the wind and the curves and the highway uh, and then the calm country roads like here. So it's been a great trip and I look forward to updating you soon. When I first saw the Spaceship One launch, it inspired me to start up Terra because I realized a small team could get a rocket into space a small dedicated team could build a vehicle here on Earth too. Do I wish we had the ability to move faster? Absolutely. But we're making this vehicle come to life on a shoestring budget with a small team that's dedicating their life to our mission. I feel we're at the forefront of something truly revolutionary. We're not just fighting an uphill battle anymore. We're standing at the edge of something incredible, ready to break through. To all of you who've supported us, my commitment is this, we're not stopping. We're moving forward with more energy and more passion than ever. The road ahead is an open highway and the future is ours to shape.